Thanks for checking out how a health savings account, an HSA, can help you live today and plan for tomorrow. In this video, we'll help you better understand how an HSA enables you to set aside pre-tax dollars to pay for eligible health care costs today and into the future. Here's how it works. If you're enrolled in a high deductible health plan, HDHP, you're eligible for an HSA. Once you've enrolled in an HSA, you'll contribute to your account through regular payroll deductions before taxes are taken out. Those pre-tax dollars are placed into your account where they are then available for you to pay for qualified medical expenses. There is an annual limit on your HSA contributions set by the IRS. If you're over age 55, you can contribute more. An HSA offers multiple tax advantages. Contributions aren't subject to federal income taxes, FICA taxes, or in most cases, state income taxes. You can grow the money in your account through contributions that you don't use and any interest that accrues. Additionally, unless you plan to use your HSA money for planned expense in the near future, investing can give your money an opportunity to grow over time. It is important to keep in mind that investing involves risk. In reality, account values fluctuate over time with the market and it is possible that your account will lose money. Any money you spend from your HSA isn't taxed as long as it's spent on qualified medical expenses. Qualified medical expenses include prescriptions, deductibles, co-payments and co-insurance, vision and dental care. A few other benefits to note. There is no use it or lose it policy. The money is yours to roll over year to year. Your HSA account stays with you even if you change jobs. Some employers will also make contributions to their employees' HSAs as part of their benefits package. Once you've turned 65, you can use an HSA to pay for Medicare Parts A, B and D premiums and Medicare HMO premiums, but not supplemental policies such as Medigap. You can claim expenses for your spouse or any dependents claimed on your tax return, even if they aren't covered under your high deductible health plan. You can reimburse yourself any time for qualified medical expenses. An HSA is not subject to required minimum distributions at age 70 and a half. There are some important considerations to keep in mind with an HSA. Your HSA can't be used for most health insurance premiums. You'll need to keep track of your receipts in case you're ever audited by the IRS. Once you've enrolled in Medicare, you'll no longer be able to contribute to your HSA. After age 65, there is no penalty for using the money for non-qualified medical expenses, but you'll be required to pay income taxes on money used for those expenses. Before age 65, you'll pay a 20% penalty and income taxes if you withdraw funds for non-qualified expenses. HSAs are a great way to help you manage healthcare expenses today and in the future. Contact the Voya Financial Consumer Services team to learn more.